Kenny Green, raw perspective. Check it out. Concrete and steel, keeping it good and raw. Hey, look, today I just wanted to inform people, celebrate and acknowledge a famous man. You've heard of the cookie brand Famous Amos. Yeah, the chocolate chip cookie. But a lot of people don't know the story. And probably the tragedy behind Famous Amos. Let me just give you some history. He was born in 1936 in Tallahassee, Florida, right? And struggled, you know, because those were certain times. His aunt used to make chocolate chip cookies. And later, <clears throat> he took that same recipe and he created a cookie, right? In 1975, he opened up his first store in LA. The reason why this is important because sometimes in the times that things happen, there's a different level of struggle that's going on. You know what I'm saying? So he created this uh, cookie and it was a struggle. He leveraged himself, but he made it happen. He used his image, which was always that black man with a straw hat and a white cotton shirt. So he was recognizable all over when you saw his cookies. In 1982, now mind you, 1975, he opened his first store in LA. And in 1982, he was doing 12 million in annual sales. Dig that. But of course, when you grow and you get large, competition, saturation. So now you have to deal with things that you didn't know because the company is growing faster than you expected. He had to sell portions of his company to stay afloat and survive. But at the end of the day, in 2001, Kellogg's purchased his company. And here's the tragedy. He lost the rights to his name. He couldn't call himself Famous Amos. He couldn't use his likeness. And when it's all said and done, he lost the company that he started. But it's still a story of a great entrepreneur, a man that did marvelous things in the time that it was difficult. And we all know the cookies were good. Well, he passed away. He passed away. And that's why I'm acknowledging him for the greatness that he represented, the entrepreneur spirit he lived in. And always his aunt used to make these cookies. And this is where a lot of great things that we possess is right there in front of us. He took that recipe that his aunt used to make those cookies and he created a empire. But his business savvy, his business savvy wasn't the best. Now, understand, Famous Amos, a great entrepreneur. But when you're doing things and you're growing, you need business skills and acumen as well. So his business skills weren't where they needed to be and it hurt the company greatly to the point that he had to sell portions of it. He had to leverage it. He uh, later lost the rights to his name, uh, his likeness. And for someone that nurtured this situation in its infancy to can't use the name and the likeness that it started with and even having his aunt's legacy of chocolate chip tied to it, it has to be a very disappointing feeling. But we respect and we acknowledge him for what he was able to do. So the famous Amos, rest in peace. Man, we respect you as an entrepreneur. And to everybody out there, you have to get the right people to handle your business when you're growing. Concrete and steel.